Now, a lot of people don't know uh, all of the functionality within the formal model of the role-based uh, access control model. And actually, I just recently wrote a paper for Information Security Magazine on uh, role-based access control and how it plays in identity management. And the, the exam isn't going to get very deep into role-based access control, um, but it's becoming more important in the environment because we're having to control access to our uh, assets. It's very difficult to do it just by users. You know, you could have 3,000 users, and how do you uh, know what individual users have to have access to? It's a lot easier to know what role. You know, if this person is going to be doing backups, this is what they should have access to. That's a lot easier. So more and more companies are setting up role-based um, access control models. Now there is, you could set up one that uh, is in a hierarchy, and what that means is that one role will inherit all the permissions or rights from uh, the ones below it. So for example, let's say um, there's, in, in a hospital, there's a lab technician. Uh, he can only have access to certain information in the database. The nurse, she can have uh, a little bit more access and she inherits uh, what the lab technician can access. And then there's the doctor. The doctor has inherits all those permissions and then he has some on top of that. That's how the hierarchy um, actually works. Now, role base is also being used for um, separation of duties. And I told you you're going to see this and, and a few of the domains. And it's very difficult to actually implement a separation of duties properly. But if you have a critical task and you split it up that this role does this part and this role does the other part, that's a, that's a lot easier to control than saying, you know, Joe does this and Bob does this. You set up roles and it doesn't matter, who, you know, who you're plugging into. So you split up the critical task and, um, uh, and assign the roles to only be able to carry out a component or a part of that task, and then another role has to finish it. Now, access can be assigned um, explicitly. That means directly to the user. So if I'm going to assign you um, read and write, that's explicit because it's based on your identity. Uh, the other way that a user gets uh, rights would be through um, they would inherit it and that's that's what I talked about with um, the role-based access control it's not tied to an identity it's tied to an actual role so there's there's a difference between implicit and explicit explicit is that the rights are so assigned directly to the user implicit means that the user inherits the rights and it's usually inheriting from uh, some type of a role